and it's applause for Connor Tofts ahead of this warm-up match between Hoyt Lindeen and Earlston on Saturday. Connor was a very popular player with Lindeen, who sadly died last week. Lindeen are in East League 2, Earlston a league below, and both had disappointing campaigns last season, so this was an important opportunity for both teams to get a win under their belts. And it was first blood early on to the home side, with Matthew Mallon in the right place at the right time to go over for an early try. TJ McCauley's overthrow at the line-out gave Earlston the chance to capitalise and the loose ball was quickly snapped up by Michael Dalton, who found Nathan Chisholm, who linked well with fellow centre Stuart Somerville. Quick hands then to John Craig, who finished the move off, an impressive lesson on how to turn defence into attack. But a mistake down the other end saw Mallon jump on a loose ball and with Matthew Huggin on hand, it was try time for Lindeen, despite the best efforts of Dylan Oliver to stop him. So plenty to chat about at half-time, with Hoyt Lindeen edging the first half with two tries to one and all to play for in the second period. Lindeen struck first in the second half, a tap penalty to Liam Sharkey playing his 100th game for his team and then on to Aidan Fairburn, saw the big man go over in the corner to extend their lead. And then followed the try of the match. Good work from Matthew Mallon, who was a thorn in Earlston's side all afternoon, made good ground before offloading to fly half Rory Graham. Graham's pickup was out of the top draw and his momentum took him over to put daylight between the two teams. If you watch it again, good defence from fullback Jay Fender to bring Mallon down, but Mallon did well to get the pass out and Fender did the rest to extend Lindine's lead. But Earlston's heads didn't go down and when they were awarded a penalty it was quickly taken by Jay Fender. He found Jack Howe coming in at the angle to dive over for a worthy consolation try for Earlston. There was still time for Aidan Fairbairn to get his second try from a similar position to his first. And no one was going to stop him from there to wrap the match up with the final score, Hoyt Lindeen 27, Earlston 12. But plenty for both sides to take into the new season, starting next week. We've played well for quite a lot of it. Uh, you know, it's always good to play against our opposition in a higher league. You know, it really tests... Uh, our structure, how we're actually going to play. You know, if you're playing against better opposition, they're going to expose where your weaknesses are, and that's really something that we can then go into the next week training, uh, really focus on where we're weak, so that when the actual league starts next week, uh, we're we're up and running and uh, we're hopefully firing on all cylinders. It's quite a young squad that you've got as well. You're seen as one of the senior players. I how, know, I know. how have they kind of blended into the team? Uh, ah, well, it's it's quite well, quite good. So a lot of the players we've had uh, last year as well, and uh, you know we went on a tour to Berlin over the summer. You know it was a real bonding experience for the full squad, and we really took that that closeness into pre-season. That's really helped. Both of you were winning 100 caps today. How proud are you for the club? Yeah, pretty proud. I mean, we've had good seasons and bad seasons, but uh, that's just how it goes. And Last season was a bad season, but hopefully this is one of the good ones. So, I am delighted. I'm just hoping another 100 more. <laughs> and it was quite a tough game against Erlston today. They kind of threw everything at you, but you seem to have quite a solid squad. Uh, it's a really wide pitch as well, and uh, I'm not sure who fitness was up to it. I mean, you can run all pre-season, but game fitness is totally different. You just get that by playing games. So the more games that come, the better it'll get. There's definitely a lot to improve on, but I'm quite happy with that myself. It was quite a tough season for you last year. Yeah. What is the aim for this upcoming season? You've got your first game next week against Edinburgh Uni Medics. Uh, I, like obviously, going from pre-season, the way we've been working, the numbers we've been getting, we we truly think that we can challenge for for that top spot. So it's like definitely going into it. The goal is lifting that trophy at the end of the year. Uh, where that comes to be, it all really depends on the boys' commitments, but from what I've seen uh, in, the, in the past weeks, the commitment's there, so we should hopefully be uh, up there in, at the end of the season. It helps having decent players around you. you know, if everybody has a, dog, a job, and if uh, they all do the job well, then it makes it easier for me if I'm running the lines, and anyone else that's running the lines as well. And as you said, last season was quite a tough season for you. Is what is, how's preparations been for pre-season going into this season? It's been good. We've had a lot of numbers. Uh, they've been good, consistent numbers, which makes a difference. I mean, there's only so much you can do with 10 boys running at training, and we had a lot of that last season. But this season, we've had consistently you know, 15 to 20 boys. We can get a lot done.